uh, what we're looking at here is a bronze rotary valve out of a typical conventional streetcar brake valve. And they tend to be bronze and they, they rotate on top of a, of a cast iron seat. And uh, being different materials, you want to use a, a specialized uh, lapping compound when you do have to lap them. Usually the telltale is that you'll feel a little nick or uh, imperfection of the surface of your fingernail. If you feel your fingernail, it probably needs to be lapped. And we just use this uh, U.S. Products Garnet Lapping Compound. Uh, it's good for dissimilar surfaces like bronze and cast iron. And you set the, uh, carefully set this on top of the, uh, after cleaning of course, on top of the cast iron seat. And run it back and forth in a figure eight pattern and rotate it. And uh, after a while you get a nice smooth surface and clean it all off very carefully. Make sure you get all the grit out of there with uh, Varsol or some uh, organic, some kind of uh, cleaning fluid. And, uh, uh, when you go to reassemble, you use a high quality graphite grease on the surface, a, a film on the surface. That's all you need. And then in service, you may end up having to add a little oil a couple times a year if the valve starts running stiff. But uh, my opinion is these should come apart and be cleaned and lubricated uh, once a year. You tend to get pipe scale and pipe powder building up at that point and it tends to dry out the lubricant. And uh, at that point you may start to get scratches, especially if there's rust particles from the pipe in there. So once a year for all motorman's brake valves, it's usually a good, good rule of thumb. You can stretch it sometimes if the car isn't used that much, but a car in fairly regular museum type service should get this done once a year. Same thing with the emergency valves, relay valves, any critical valve like that should come apart for inspection. And part of the idea behind that is to prevent wear because piston rings are hard to get for emergency valves and relay valves. These parts are hard to get, so you want to prevent wear as much as possible. So if you have a strong preventative maintenance program, you reduce the wear, reduce the number of parts needed. Because now you're going to have to make them. If you're lucky enough, maybe there's a source, but it's hard to get parts. So you want to save those precious parts with a little extra labor, because for most museums, labor is relatively cheap or free.